everybody, I just received this Grace Roxy microphone preamp. I bought this for use on stage to use with a microphone and the boost feature. You can see that boost feature here. Running this through a spectrum analyzer, whenever I get a piece of gear like this that I'm going to be using a lot, I want to know exactly what it does. And so you can see here, 5 dB increments on the gain. And got it right there, averaged at 30 dB. Goes up and down, nice and flat all the way through. Thought I'd look at the EQ settings. To begin with, over here, there's a high pass filter dip switches. And so the first setting is 75 hertz, I pass filter. 75 hertz, you can see what that's doing. And we can change that to 150. These things are a little finicky. There we go, there's 150. And there it is turned off again, if I can get it. All right. Going to sweep the EQs. Here's your low frequency. It says 10 dB, and the 10 dB point would be right at 60 hertz. And you notice it kind of dips the whole signal by about, oh, about 2 or 3 dB, depending on the frequency range you're looking at. Boosting. Again, your 10 dB point is right around 50 hertz, and it's boosting the signal throughout, gosh, up to three decibels or so, two or three decibels. Looking at the sweep, the mid sweep, go ahead and start with subtractive EQ, down negative 10. One thing I noticed as you climb up, it goes down to about negative 11 or so, and then you lose a little bit as it gets up here to the top, which is 4K. It's right at about negative 8. That's uh, not uncommon for an EQ, though. And then let's boost. And same thing on this side, about 8 dB boost. And it gradually increases up to about oh, 11 dB. And then back to 10, not when you get here. Now, one thing I did notice is the frequencies are not entirely accurate here. Now, that's, I don't think that's really Grace's fault. It's just the nature of potentiometers. So we say we're at 4K. That's about 4.3K. We move this to 2K. We're just north of 2K. 1.1K is man, pretty close. But right in here in the middle of the potentiometer is where you get little anomalies, uh, where this says 400 hertz. Now there's a little parallax there, but it's actually pointing at 400. You can see that it's actually 800 hertz. So you're about an octave off there. And then when it's down to 350, now you're at 500. And at 300, you're right at or below 300 and then down to 175. So it's just the way that potentiometers are. They're, they're, they don't all track perfectly. And so that's one thing that I wanted to know about this. You know, if I'm thinking I'm boosting or subtracting 400 and I'm really subtracting 800, uh, that's uh, it's not ideal. But I just, as long as I know it, then I'll know what to do. And of course, you're gonna use your ears anyway with an EQ like this. Go to the high shelf. And we're decreasing the high shelf. You can see that is the negative 10 dB mark is at 4.5K. And boosting 10 dB is right at about just, just south of 5K. And you got 14 dB at 20K or 18K thereabouts. Pretty big boost. Subtracting down about, oh, what is that? 15 or so dB, 15 and a half dB. It's hard to see. Um, 
there is a setting, an internal jumper. Uh, there's an internal jumper where you can adjust the corner frequency for the high shelf to be either 1K or 2K. This one comes from the factory set at 2K as your corner frequency. Um, so negative 3 dB is right at 2K, you can see. Uh, if it were me, personally, you've got a lot of overlap. I mean, if you're boosting just a little bit of EQ here, your center frequency is right at 10K, but you're also boosting a lot of 3K and 4K. And there's a world of difference between 3K and 4K and like airy frequencies like 10. If it were me, I probably would prefer that high frequency to be moved up a little bit or to be tighter to where you're not boosting so much 2 and 3 and 4K. You would only be boosting, you know, 8 and 10 and 15K. That's a personal preference for acoustic stuff that I do. Uh, but anyhow, this gives you an idea of how it works. And then you could boost both, make a little smiley face EQ or frowny face EQ. You could tilt the EQ like this or like that. Uh, you could even mess with the uh, low frequencies and mid frequencies and do all kinds of things with it. So it's pretty, pretty useful. And there's that boost here. Everything seems to boost, you know, consistently. Um, it says a 10, a 10 dB boost. That's really, what is that? 11 and a half dB boost. 11 and three quarters, something like that. So it goes to 11. Got a mute switch. So I'll be using this this weekend with the Becky Buller band. Going to be playing a few shows, filling in with her. And uh, this is this is going to be good because uh, I've got a Neumann, the new MCM-114 microphone coming in, and I want to be able to have something that I can use on stage uh, to boost that signal. And I found this, and it's a relatively new design. I've been to the Grace factory before out in Lyons, Colorado, and they've got a really cool shop there. And uh, I admire what they do. They do really good work. As you can see, this is a really cool piece of gear. And this gives you a real-time analysis of what they actually, what it actually does. Again, this is just what I like to do because I'm kind of particular and I like to know exactly what my gear does. So go check them out online. And uh, the sound of the, the preamp sounds really good. I just tested it with... Just a couple of ribbon mic and also a condenser mic just to see how it operates. And the and the one thing I did notice was that that high frequency thing. I I I would much prefer to have that corner frequency a little higher. I may even contact the Grace folks and see if there's a a modification that could be done. Or I might just open it up and look in there. I'm gonna guess there's a lot of ICs in here. It's probably not discrete circuit stuff. So it might be hard to modify a unit like this. And also, I don't want it to go out of warranty. Um, so what I aim to do is I'm going to get my guitar, put the Neumann mic on it in a studio setting, and dial in all my settings exactly the way I want them to be for my guitar. And then I'm going to take some black paint and put, mark each of the settings where it should be. I also have an upright bass clip for the mic, and so then I can dial in for the upright bass, whatever that needs, and then maybe paint that red for the bass, and then I've also got a fiddle clip for it, and I'm, I'd like to maybe, uh, maybe blue would be a nice color for fiddle. We can, we can, you know, set, set everything the way you'd want it for the fiddle to, to, to sound for my microphone and my fiddle and my sound. So really cool unit. I'm, I'm super excited to try it out this weekend. See you all later.